Time for a new project video. We were fortunate to have a friend that wanted to have some changes in the kitchen, just even though it's just been Christmas. So he's been working on his own, putting up backsplash and changing backsplash and stuff over here. But I said to him, you know what kind of dates the kitchen is this soffit area above the cabinets? This was an older idea when you used to have, these cabinets are 12 inches wide, or excuse me, 12 inches deep. They're a shallower upper kitchen cabinet. Conventionally, um, the other size is 18 inches deep for an upper kitchen cabinet, and that was probably what was in here before when this soffit box was built, because what it did was carry the face frame surface of a cabinet. This is your face frame of the cabinet box, has a frame, and it carried the surface of the face frame right up smooth flush to the ceiling and it created a finished area and nowadays a lot of people like to leave it empty and put crown molding at the top of the cabinet and have a space to put decor lighting um, and put stuff on display and so since this soffit box was altogether too big for the style of cabinet and likely empty i said you know what would make this kitchen even um, more spacious and feel more spacious and more contemporary because that's sort of their style in here is to remove it so we got set up to take it out today and to be wise i made a little door here that i could put the piece back and finish if we did, found there was a reason not to remove this and actually we found that there was a reason to consider not removing it and i found it i found it looking down from the end but i've since made the doorway another hole here so we could see but this is the upstairs bathroom the plumbing stack is actually in the wall it goes through under there but rather than reaching through a floor joist to get to the toilet and to vent the laundry machine, here's the trap for that and everything, everything was done below the plane of the floor joists to keep from compromising their strength. And um, in doing so, now you have to have something out here that covers it up. So this is a good uh, way to realize how the scope of a project can change. Um, so quickly. Uh, I didn't realize any of this was here. I was thinking we could pull this whole thing down, which the rest of it is empty to my knowledge, although we have a, a can light. That light there is in here, but we'll relocate that. I knew we could relocate that into the ceiling space itself. So I had to look at this and make a decision as to whether or not um, I could rebuild this arrangement up inside the floor joists, which I think I can inside of our budget, which is why I'm a, normally a little bit more liberal with my estimates so that there's some room if changes happen not to not to have to double them uh, double the cost of the project just for an unforeseen situation although this is a pretty classic one um, I shouldn't say a classic it's not classic in the exact situation but it's a classic example of how you could do all you could to imagine how uh, a project will go and within the first few minutes it's an entirely different sort of a scope so hopefully we can come back and show what this looks like just after a few hours of demolition, removing, and then obviously we'll look at how I rearrange and consolidate that plumbing so that it's all in the wall and that we can have an open space here. And really that was, in my opinion, unprofessional to plumb it that way. And um, and so I think we'll do, I'll show how to do it more professionally, even though it is of course more involved and that's why people avoid it. So. Hang out and uh, stay tuned and we'll see that fairly shortly. We'll see ya.